Well, in uh, saving your baby's life, it is our final day of baby safety week here on Good Morning Cleveland. And this morning, we are telling you how to perform CPR on an infant. You know, there is a big difference in how we do the compressions. A Red Cross representative actually stopped by our station with a baby uh, doll, one of those, um, those trainer dolls, to show us exactly what to do. Here's New Channel 5's Kristen Byrne with this story. In the center of the chest, with two fingers, you're going straight up and down, quick compressions. This might be a baby doll, but Red Cross rep Pam Oliver says this is what it would look like if you ever had to perform CPR on an infant. There are differences than adult CPR. You use less breath, not as much force. You have to cover the baby's whole nose and mouth. Plus, with an infant, there's no need to pinch the nose. They're doing the same amount of compressions, 30 compressions in two breaths. It's the placement for the infant with the two fingers in the center of chest. Instead of with an adult, you're using the heel of your hand and the force of your upper body. Oliver explains what parents can look for during those emergency moments. You're going to look, listen, and feel. You're going to look for the chest to rise and fall, listen for any breathing. If you don't hear any breathing or see the chest rise and fall, then you would assume that they're choking. She says if you see they're choking on something, use your pinky finger to try and remove it. Don't do the Heimlich maneuver. Instead, this is the method of forcing air out, trying two minutes of 30 compressions, then two breaths, and calling 911 for help. You want to make sure that you're circulating the blood. That's the whole point of keeping the brain alive until more advanced medical help arrives. On your side, Kristen Byrne, News Channel 5.